Hi engineering janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we will understand what is DevOps. Whenever I nowadays speak to students, this is one of the queries that what exactly is DevOps? Sir, suna bahut hai. DevOps mein career hai, DevOps mein scope hai, a lot of fields, a lot of uh, domains are interconnected with DevOps, a lot of job opportunities are there in DevOps. But exactly kya hai? What exactly is DevOps? Ye kya hai? And a lot of people aren't aware about this discourse. A lot of people aren't aware about the fact that DevOps nowadays is very important or it can be called as a backbone of any development process. Fine. Because nowadays a lot depends on DevOps. I'll tell you why. Pura backstory se last tak samjhenge ki kyun DevOps bahut zaruri hai, why it is important and why in the recent days or in the recent era of last five to six years, this domain has picked up a lot. Fine. So we'll understand everything. So first of all, let's understand what is the meaning of DevOps. Fine. So coming to that, DevOps is a set of practices, tools and cultural philosophies that aim to shorten the software development life cycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality. It blends the traditionally separate roles of software development and IT operations to create more collaborative and efficient environment. I'll tell you problem kya hoti thi. Then you'll get a perspective of all this. This is just fancy English. Take a thoda sa realistic perspective samajhte. What happens in a usual company? Fine. Why am I saying this? Because after working myself earlier, I was like, why DevOps is needed? Fine. Maybe something related to cloud, but not just that. Reality bataru, not just that. Because DevOps is very, very important. When I myself worked in a product-based company, then I realized, oh, that is why they are very, very important. What happens is development team builds a particular piece of code or builds a particular application or any enterprise solution. When they build it, after building it, after developing, testing, they give it to the deployment portion. They completely shift those operations to the operations team. Fine. The deployment, the iteration, the maintenance, everything goes to the operations team. Fine. And now, every time you are merging, you are creating a new iteration or you are creating in Agile, there are multiple iterations, fine, in Agile software methodology. While doing that, you create a new version, say, fine, and that new version is to be deployed. Now, every time, first of all, you need to send, fine, a, that particular separate update. You can't simply think of that, I'll carry on the work that is assigned to operations team. You can't because that is a hectic work and they're assigned with it. They have their pipelines in place, so you cannot meddle with them as simple as that. Now, sometimes product team gave a code to the operations team, fine, to deploy. They deployed, but some tester came three days later. He said, there is a bug that we have encountered. Now they want a new iteration or new piece of code for the same function or for the same functionality that they were operating upon. Now they created something new. They created something new, again sent to them. Now the point is, before they were sending on the production environment or on the real time environment, the problem was that some failure was encountered. Now, operations team will say it was from development team. The problem was from development team. Development team might say, we delivered you the perfect thing. You messed up somewhere, right? Also, there is a big, big problem when you want a regular merging. When you want that updations that I'm doing should be realistically in the real time, they should be distributed uniformly to all users and the iteration should be super smooth. Fine. It should be continuous. I should be able to continuously integrate and see things. I'll come to that in detail. So for that DevOps was needed that a common field which goes through the procedure of what's coming to from developers, what's needed by the operations, how everything is merging in one pipeline, fine. And how the continuous integration and continuous deployment is happening. We'll understand what is it because that is the essence of DevOps, fine. So that is why DevOps is needed because somebody needs to check whether what was delivered and deployed to the server, what was delivered by dev team and what was deployed to the server works in one smooth sync and nowhere amidst of this process, nowhere lies a discontinuity or a fault line where nobody can correct things and the blame game continues, number one. Number two, 
DevOps is super important because the continuous iteration or the continuous updation that you're doing, you're integrating it real time. And then you want to distribute it uniformly throughout the user base, fine. That is needed. How will you do that? Using DevOps, fine. A lot of operations which lie in the gray zone, which operations team might say that this is something which is out of our work, out of our purview of work. We cannot do it. This should be done by developers. Developers say, no, it's not my job. You check it out. Fine. For example, the server compatibilities and various other things. Those who are working or those who have worked in internships and in some decent companies and on decent big projects, they'll understand this. Fine. So there is, there is a big problem. Fine. So somebody has to sit in between and ensure that everything goes smooth. Everything has a designated procedure. The unit test cases in the pipeline are passing. The testing is happening correctly. Then the deployment is happening correctly. Then the maintenance phase is occurring. Then again, the complete process is cycling. Fine. So that is done by a DevOps engineer. So basically, the roles of IT ops and the roles of developer are basically merged at a point to handle that gray zone. Fine. For example, understand it like this. For example, if this is developer, this is operations. So somewhere this is gray zone where somebody has to sit. So this is DevOps, fine. Somewhere a common area of both, fine. Kind of that you can consider. And the whole point of doing this is that whole point of having this stream is you create a more collaborative environment. You create an environment where both developer and operations can work in sync where nobody has to think of what exact POC should I contact for a particular thing if I want from developer side or I want from development focused end fine so somebody should correct this for me and DevOps engineer would come into play again now from operation side some update is needed to development team and then again they'll revert back to the DevOps engineer this is one of the work that he is doing alongside the pipelines and everything I told you fine now if I go further, this is the infinite loop of DevOps. And that is why, let me tell you one thing. Often, for the people who are actually working in industry, they'll tell you, the life of DevOps engineer is a bit hectic as compared to the life of a developer's. Fine. Why am I saying so? Developer's job is not that hectic. Not that hectic. It might be very complex to code. It might be very difficult in the logic sense. But... A sudden sense of uh, failure will never be encountered by a developer. Usually not. Usually not. Sometimes some immediate bugs come which every developer has to solve. But uh, for a DevOps engineer, any time pipeline malfunctions, it is DevOps engineer who's going to fix that. Fine. So for DevOps engineers, it is usually considered a more hectic role as compared to developers. But it is equally paid. It is sometimes highly paid and sometimes they often cross the salaries of developers also the career growth is very stable and for next 10 15 years they have a bright future if if i correctly see it 20 25 years they'll dominate the market just like developers fine they are already dominating but still it's still in the growth phase so what's happening here in devops i'll tell you what usually happens this is plan phase This is plan phase, then this is build, where build and code happens, fine, so basically code also happens here. Then the continuous, continuous integration, basically a phase of integration where actually you are trying to regularly put things into the place while uh, merging them. And why am I calling it continuous integration, I'll tell you, fine, so wait for a while. After this, after building and integrating, then testing would happen in the same phase. After the testing, what will happen? You create a few things here in the operations department. Basically, what's happening here is you're actually in this create phase. You're actually creating some deployment pipelines. Fine. So that happens here. Then integrating then, then deployment happens. So it is primarily the operations portion. So I can say this is ops, fine, and this is dev. So this portion, this particular side of infinite loop is development. Development is happening. And then 
creation and I would also write monitoring. Fine. So monitoring also happens here. And for this, this T is some unusual thing. So I'll write it even better. So this is monitoring. Fine. So creation monitoring, basically reviewing it and then going on further integrating it basically integrating it into the version control and then deploying it then deploying it again moving to the plan phase so basically this is a unending loop which continuously goes on goes on goes on and goes on fine so this portion is of developers where they plan a particular user story they plan user story kya hota hai? for those who are in final year they know it agile mein padha for those who aren't in final year, wo lo. user story is basically user scenario, jo user ne aapko problem diya, hai? So the plan according to it, they design it, ideate it, then build it, code it, then after coding it, they integrate it, fine. Basically coding and testing, you can consider this phase. So this particular portion, this particular portion of loop is actually continuous integration. You can call it continuous integration and this is the part which represents continuous deployment fine continuous deployment and remember one thing this continuous deployment will go on so every time you integrate every time it gets deployed how do you do it you have tools like jenkins you have kubernetes you have various tools git version control fine ansible various tools are available various Fine. So those tools are for them who are going to learn DevOps. Fine. But the basic difference is that the developer portion is here, monitoring, creating pipelines, integrating those pipelines, deploying in those pipelines, managing the proper structure of the operations module is basically the part of ops and the whole bunch is handled by a DevOps engineer. Not exactly dev you will be doing not exactly ops you will be doing you will be handling the middle portion of both where you pitch in and plug in where development side of uh, the this infinity loop is needed to the ops and where the operations side of uh, this loop is needed to developer you will pitch in there and you fix those things fine so this is devops devops is thoda thoda kaam dono ka karenge but primary moti moti bhasha mein pipelines handle karna fine where you create a continuous integration process and then continuous delivery or deployment continuous deployment process fine if you are creating those so basically ci cd is continuous integration and continuous delivery somewhere you will read continuous integration and continuous deployment so this is ci cd or ci cd hi basic kaam hai devops ka wo continuously cheeze integrate hoti hai continuously deploy hoti rahe ye automatically hoga to put this process of automatic Continuous integration and continuous deployment. This automated process in place mein rakhne ke liye, jo responsible hai, wo DevOps engineer. Hai. Fine. So, itna hi hai DevOps. Mein. But, career, a lot, a lot more to come. Very promising. And I'll discuss what roadmap can be followed in upcoming videos. In a few videos, we'll go ahead and we'll build something like roadmap for DevOps if you want it. Only then. So, go ahead. Tell me in the comment sections because top three comments get free access to the prep insta prime they can stand a chance to win the free subscription of prep insta prime so go ahead comment below this video that do you want the roadmap for devops or not also follow us on these social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update fine have a wonderful day keep doing good for others good will come back to you